Hi guys, it's Terry from Baking Crafting Everyday Life. Um, my kids love pierogies, I believe that's how you say them. And with us having to be gluten free and dairy free, um, my son does, and then I have to be sugar free also. So I adapted the recipe so we could do it. So I used my special flour villain, which is brown rice flour, tapioca flour, and potatoes flour um, and the dough turned out really nice and um, I had somebody stop over today who makes them and I'm like is this what the dough is supposed to look like because I can honestly say I don't recall what they are supposed to look like so anyways what you're gonna do is roll them out and I have my flour bun over here because you need to keep flouring your rolling pin I found out with this because otherwise it will catch and it makes a mess okay so while we're rolling it out make sure you have your pot of water boiling because that's what happens like what I said it catches like that have your pot of water boiling on your stove because once you make it you got to put them in the pot of water to boil because it's like a pasta and then we'll fry them up in a frying pan with some butter well the plant-based butter butter um, but our family has, I know where our butter comes from, so, and it doesn't bother our family, so I use our family butter. So, make sure you roll it out really thin is the key. Okay, and that's what happens is it keeps catching like that, so you gotta make sure you keep putting flour on your rolling pin. I was so excited that it actually turned out. It tastes good. I was able to eat it and um, had no reaction. We're three hours in of me trying one and no reaction yet, knock on wood. So very excited. So okay, next thing you're gonna do is use your cutter, which mine is the medium size because I can't find my small one. So go ahead and cut it. And before earlier today, um, I boiled up some potatoes and I made them into just potatoes and I also fried up some bacon and chopped it up. Um, so then there is your, your little dough that you need. Put that on your little thing. And in here is my mashed up potatoes with bacon I had fried up and chopped up and I put some onion powder in it and it looks really gooey and nasty um, I was really worried that it wasn't right but it is it tastes great so and then put it in squeeze it okay and I've been having trouble with it sticking to my thing um, it's kind of irritating a little bit but just be patient and just appreciate if it works out great if it doesn't oh well it's homemade and it doesn't have to be perfect okay so just remember that so I keep telling myself and of course I'm struggling really bad while I'm on live with you guys and it did not turn out that pretty but pressure sides I swear they turned out really nice the ones I have already done this one just gave me extra challenge, which is not so nice, but whatever. Okay, so there we have that. Let me take you off this stand. I'm gonna put you to a different one. Actually, give me a minute. I'm just gonna take you out. So, sorry, enjoy the travel. Okay, so here's my water boiling. Here's my pan with my butter in it. And what you're gonna do, is take your padagi and put it down into your boiling water okay and it's gonna boil and lift to the top and all that and I really do promise I had pretty ones see how nice they turn out you, after they boil and they float to the top you're gonna fry, fry them up in your frying pan okay just with some butter or your plant-based butter if you would like and this one doesn't look pretty at all, but as everybody says, they don't have to look pretty. 
as long as they taste good. They're very, very time consuming. So if you guys ever get these, appreciate them because it's very much time consuming. But I was very excited to actually get a gluten-free that's held together, tastes really good, and it tastes like a oh, pierogi or quadagi, how you guys say it, I apologize. So just brown it up on each side after you boiled it, of course, first, okay? And this one I'm gonna flip again. I had more water in my pan, but because I've made so many, my water's kind of gone out. But, like I said, they turn out really nice, and they're really good. Um, see how nice that is? So, there you go. If you have any questions, give me a message, and give me some hearts and likes if you like it. Thank you. Have a great day.